Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the latest drama between Cardi B and Offset. The two rap superstars have had a roller coaster of a relationship, but things reached a boiling point recently when Offset accused Cardi B of cheating on him while pregnant with their third child. The back and forth between them has been all over social media, and we're breaking down everything you need to know. So let's get into it. First up, let's talk about Offset's shocking claim. During an explosive argument that played out in public, Offset hopped onto Cardi B's Instagram Live and accused her of sleeping with another man while she was pregnant. He commented, quote, you fucked with a baby inside? Tell the truth. Naturally, this stirred up a huge reaction online. Cardi B, however, didn't outright deny the allegation. Instead, she clapped back with a powerful response saying, you can't buy me anymore, clearly frustrated with Offset's attempts to win her over. Now, here's where it gets even more intense. Cardi B later confirmed Offset's accusation, not in a denial, but with a simple post on Twitter that read and did. It seemed like a direct admission. She also revealed that she had started talking to other men back on June 24th while she was heavily pregnant. This comes after their marriage has been plagued by allegations of cheating and things took an even sharper turn after Cardi filed for divorce in early August. Despite everything, Cardi's frustration boiled over. With her claiming Offset was still emotionally invested, even accusing him of trying to block her from going to Paris. What the fine niggas? I'm trying to find niggas. I've been cuffed up too long. Let me remind niggas. Yo, when I tell you, Nick, the narcissism is all time high. And you know what's so crazy? I really be feeling like when people be saying like narcissists, narcissists, niggas is narcissists and everything. I be like, do y'all even know what that word mean? But now I really do see what's a fucking narcissist. You know what's so crazy? I find this so crazy, right? You know what I find so crazy? That a nigga think that they could just buy a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I love me shit, but you can buy you can buy me no more, motherfucker. And I, and it's so crazy that a nigga think that that's enough. It's not enough, honey. It's just not enough. And you know what's so funny too? I find it funny that niggas think that they could fuck on anything. But when I when I start talking to niggas, you wanna threat me with taking shit that I fucking work my ass off for. You wanna play those games with me? We're going to play them games, too. We're going to play them games, too. Since you want to fucking threat me, take, talking about you want to take my shit. You want to take my shit because I'm moving on? Move on. Move on. Why can't you move on? Why can't you move on? It's no fun when, when, when mama got the gun, right? It's no fun when I'm slanging pussy, right? Hmm. Now it Even though Offset claimed he's moved on, the argument didn't stop there. Cardi fired back, accusing him of being desperate to get her attention after she blocked him. I just want to let I just want to let motherfuckers know one good shit, right? I don't give a fuck if a nigga talking about, "Oh, I'm gonna expose you," or oh, "I'm gonna put them text messages that sort through your phone." I don't give a fuck, nigga. I will expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. I don't care. You should be happy. You know what you should be? You you know what you should be happy? You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day, I'm a real gangster ass bitch and I'm a solid bitch. So one thing I'm not gonna do to you ever is entertaining them your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my pussy. I will never do that because the op to you is a nigga that wants you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the fuck out of you, out of you. My kids love you down. So I will never do that. And I really follow gangster. I really follow street codes. I will never be a lame ass bitch that fuck with a nigga op just to get back. No, nigga, I don't have to do that shit. I just got to fuck a nigga that's better than you. However, I don't give a fuck. You can expose whatever the fuck you want to expose, nigga. I expose it myself. Fuck it out of here. I told you when a Libra start Libraing, we really don't give a fuck. Now, goodbye. Things quickly spiraled into a nasty public spat with Cardi sharing personal texts and Offset throwing in laughing emojis. Despite all this, Offset was seen by Cardi's side when she gave birth to their third child earlier this month. 
hinting that even though they've split, there's still a lot of history and emotion between them. And so when it's like, nigga, I don't care. I don't care, nigga. <laughs> I don't care. At the end of the day, they pussy must, must not be that good that you was fucking up. You was blowing up my phone all weekend. All weekend you was blowing up my phone. I blocked you. I blocked you. Even though I know you was going to go to Atlanta. And I was like, I bet. I, I didn't want to know what you was doing out there. I told you, I blocked. You was calling me all private numbers all morning. You was calling my mama, everything. So it's like, you trying to show me, trying to get me mad. Like, oh, 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 let me show you the bitches I'm fucking. Let me show you the bitches in my DMs. Uh -huh, I'm going to hurt her feelings. I don't care. I don't care. That pussy must not be hitting. That you still calling my shit. Trying to get, trying to get your lick back. Trying to do your big lick back. I don't care. You're fucking lame. And them bitches is lame too. You want to know why? Because you got to fuck them bitches in order to get your ego to feel high. You know, I'm too much. I'm too, I'm too, I'm too much woman for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm too much of a boss bitch for you. And I always been too good for you. I've been too good for you. I've been too good for anything that is associated to you. So you got to fuck other bitches to make yourself feel better. Because I make you feel so low about yourself. Because I don't make you feel like I'm, you're that nigga in this home. So that's what you got to do. So you out here trying to hurt my feelings because you fucking the next bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because them hoes ain't, it pussy ain't good enough that I be having you crashing out. All weekend. You was mad happy today when I fucking called you today. And the only reason why I got I, I called you today is because I'm trying to change my son's school. And I need your approval. Other than that, nigga, fuck you. I don't care. Fuck the world. Fuck my ops. I'm going to fuck your ops. Uh, that's why I'm fucking your ops. Yeah, of course, because you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't move with integrity. You're not a street nigga. That's what you do. That's what you do. Oh, I'm going to go fuck your ops. Goo, 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 boo hoo, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You can fuck my ops. You can fuck my friends, nigga. I don't give a shit. You're lame to me and you will never equate to me. And it's crazy that I even, I even let you, I even let you even play with me for such a fucking long time because you're not even, you're not even a, 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 a real right nigga for me. I make you look good, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> look at the bitch I'm fucking. Fuck you. I don't care. Look at the bitches that I'm fucking. Uh, I'm a fuck. Oh, you're ups. I'm a fucker. Matter of fact, oh, look at this. I don't want to see it. So what? You was going to fuck them anyways, nigga. All you got to do is get fucking drunk. And them bitches going to throw you that pussy for five, for 2000 Bitches got to survive out here. Bitches got to survive out here, nigga. Oh, oh, now I'm going to fuck them bitches. Now I'm going to fuck bitches. Okay, you could do that. You was going to do it regardless. You go to a club and you you probably get drunk. You give them bitches 2000 and you was going to fuck them regardless. Them hoes got to survive. These hoes is hungry out here. We in a recession, baby. Them hoes got to get fucked. They got to get paid. Do that. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm going to I'm I'm watch what I'm going to do to you. Watch what I'm going to do. Blah, 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 blah. You already done it all. You already done it all. You already done it all. You done it all. You done it all. You done it all. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing surprises me. You've done it all, so I don't care. I don't. Thank you for my kids, though. All three of them. I don't regret none of them, but I regret you. I don't regret my kids. You're good, Daddy. You all right. I don't regret them. N not none of them. Not none of them. But fuck you. I regret you. I'm too good for you. I've always been too good for you. You know I'm too good for you, nigga. And I don't and I don't ever, 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 ever. I never even wanted to get on this social media because I don't want to turn off the next nigga off. Because this is not my type of shit. This is not my type of shit. I don't ever want the next nigga to ever think that I'm a messy bitch. But you want to be a messy nigga and do petty shit? So what's next for Cardi B and Offset? Well, it's clear that things are far from calm between the two. The allegations of infidelity, the heated social media battles, and their complicated family dynamic are playing out right in front of the world. While Offset claims to have moved on, Cardi B's responses show there's still a lot of unresolved tension. Only time will tell how things evolve from here, but one thing's for sure. This isn't the last we'll hear from either of them. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe for more updates on the biggest stories in music and entertainment. Until next time, I'll see you on the red carpet re-up.